Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Euro speaking. Welcome to the introduction spoiler video for multiplayer game number 14. This short video will compose of two parts. In first, I will introduce the game settings and players. And in the second part, I will do a short summary of the game. So if you do not want to know how the game ended, skip this video and go to the second position of the playlist where the actual game starts. This time I'm playing a six player free for all no quitters game. No quitters is a steam group um, that gathers people who wants to play civilization without people leaving on them mid game. The link is on my main channel page. Settings are quick speed small size, fractal, ancient era start, 12 city-states and random civilizations. I got Germany. Other players in this game were Enki Shumi 16 playing as Assyria, Enki Sultan playing as Ethiopia, Twinson playing as Siam, Gemma playing as Arabia and Enki Lucky Strike playing as the Netherlands. Now spoiler alert Second warning, if you do not want to know how the game went, stop watching right now and go to the second position of the playlist. My starting location was very good. I had place for several cities, my land was connected to Netherland in the east and the rest of the players were on the west side of the map connected to my lands only by a one hex passage. So I decided to open up with five cities going quickly towards National College and really hoping for a peaceful game this time. I decided to make a slight detour. Since most of my cities were coastal I decided to try and grab the Colossus for that extra trade route and extra gold just before building NC and it was almost a perfect timing because my fifth city uh, was just getting the library up so I was like anyways would have to wait those couple of turns so I just decided to try and grab the Colossus in the meantime. It looked like I will be able to grow in peace Assyria was fighting Siam, which was pretty bad for both of them, but Siam stole Assyria's um, caravan earlier in the game and Enki Shuni, Shumi didn't want that to uh, pass and he wanted revenge. So that was pretty bad for both of them just because Arabia was growing strong in the north of them and Ethiopia was running away in the south. Netherlands were all peaceful in their own corner of the map and they fielded almost no military at all. Siam lost its capital to Ethiopia. GG Twinsen. I was moving toward the city spot with iron because I was absolutely short on it and I knew I needed at least six frigate because like without frigates naval warfare would be a nightmare. Uh, Netherlands wanted that spot as well but he passed on that location and honestly in the long run he made a very very good decision though that city spot looked just awesome. So I was sitting on some healthy army number doing basically nothing and trying to get my economy up to speed. In the meantime Ethiopia was finishing off Assyria and Arabia grow into a production monster and Netherlands was just spamming wonders and focusing on tourism. Assyria lost its capital. GG and Kishumi. I was just sitting around doing nothing special but somewhere in the deepest, deepest parts of my mind came a thought that I need to do something. From all the choices I could have made 
I decided to prepare a sneaky naval attack on, the, on Ethiopia's capital because I thought that he will be able to destroy Arabia and get that part of the world out of balance. My attack was partially successful. I managed to take down Ethiopia's capital and one of its coastal cities, but I couldn't hold them against the full might of Sultan's production. He was just sending artilleries and units and I couldn't secure those cities. So after some turns, I decided to retreat. And on top of that, it looked like I did a huge mistake. Uh, cause Arabia was holding back its true potential. So I negotiated peace with, Ethiopia's, uh, with Ethiopia and promised to assist him in the war effort against Arabia. My only option was to attack Arabia's coastal cities and hope that Ethiopia will manage to secure the capital. Both of those assumptions failed miserably. After su suffering huge losses, I managed to take down one of Arabia's cities, but that was all I could do, because Gemma had air super superiority, he, he just took that city back and I couldn't do much more. And on the other side, he was slowly pushing Ethiopia's back to their capital, taking city by city. And on top of that, Netherlands were dangerously approaching culture victory. As my last chance to change the outcome of this game, I launched attack on Netherlands, but I was too late. Gemma's conquering Ethiopia's brought cultural victory much closer for Lucky Strike and I was not able to take the capital in time. I was like around one turn short and surprising all of us, Lucky Strike achieved cultural victory. Great job Lucky Strike. GG everyone and thank you for the game. Thank you for watching and I invite you to the actual game that is on the second position of this playlist. Best wishes, yours out.